If you're watching this video, you're most likely in a similar situation that I was in. You decided to use a GLINet router with your Starlink Mini. This means putting the Starlink Mini into bypass mode, which also means you most likely can no longer connect to the dish on the mobile app. And the question is, how does one resolve this? Starlink does provide some documentation with information on the IP address and subnet mask, but the specifics on how this is done are unique to each router. We only know that a static route is required. So how do we do that in a GLINet router? Logic would say to start with the admin panel. However, if you browse the network tab, there may be nothing about static routes. And if that is the case, then what you probably have to do is go to System, Advanced Settings, and click on the button Go to Lucy. If this is your first time accessing Lucy, you will likely be asked for a password. These are the same login credentials you use to access the admin panel. Lucy, which I may be mispronouncing, is short for Lua Configuration Interface, a web-based configuration interface for an open source Linux-based firmware commonly used in routers, including many GLINet models. You may be asking, why is Lucy not part of the admin dashboard? A couple of reasons I theorize are, GLINet's default admin dashboard is designed to be user-friendly and straightforward, catering to non-technical users. By keeping Lucy separate, GLINet ensures users are less likely to misconfigure their routers inadvertently. From here, we go to Network, and from the drop-down menu, select Static Routes. Then click the Add button. Since I have plugged the Ethernet from the Starlink into the WAN interface port, I'm going to change the interface drop-down to WAN. Back in Starlink's documentation, Copy the network destination address IP. Return to Lucy and paste it in the target field. Then copy the subnet mask over to the IPv4 net mask field. And finally, copy the gateway IP to the IPv4 gateway field. After I click the save button, the dialog closes. Then I had to click save and apply. Returning to my phone, I opened the Starlink app and confirmed that I can finally connect to my dish. It's only been a couple weeks so far, but I've been pretty happy with the performance of the Starlink Mini when combined with the GL iNet GL MT3000. The setup was pretty easy overall, even if the static route wasn't initially clear. Now I hope this information was useful to at least one person out there. Thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you again next time.